Good day to you. Uh, today the Lord's word came that he's the way, the truth, and the life. And what I saw was a real scrambling. People are queuing up because others were queuing up. A bit like the rat race, but not, not may not be so vigorous, but still they were scrambling. There was a scowl and a howl and a growl and some were saying unfair. There must be more room and they had all forgotten safe distancing and uh, they were scrambling to get onto this queue and get ahead. It was a scramble for the get ahead with whatever the new distraction was. And when they got to the door where they thought the door was, it's a door that will not open. But there are people who's engineering the scramble. They are creating false momentum. They are creating the waves that go nowhere. They increase the rotation of the merry-go-round. And then there is this giant wheel. Some go up and then they come down. And then others go up. And it goes on and on. And there is this the, 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 the death rider in a deep pit. He thinks it's thrill. Someday it gets his life. So all these items in the carnival. But people are very serious. They think their future is there. So they scramble. But they, at the end of it, they only at the door they get a ticket, and uh, they they look at the ticket in disappointment because they had paid so much already of their life, of their talent, of their morals to get onto this queue and get ahead. And when they get a ticket, uh, they feel disappointed. But then they can't show the disappointment. Everybody is watching. Then they get onto the next distraction. The distraction may be fashion, some addiction, another competition, and it's only a ticket that takes them nowhere. How sad it is. And then it came to me that there is a way that uh, seems right to man, but the end thereof is death. Uh, so th this is the way, uh, and this is very colorful. That's why the attraction. Then on the other side, there was uh, a scene in black and silver photography, you know, the kind of old black and white photography, but a more a silver shiny, black also was shining, and it was uh, uh, quite a scenario. Uh, there was one waiting uh, for others to come. Uh, and then it seems as if while people are on the scramble, somewhere down the line, they get, get sick of this good behavior of head-butting others, locking horns. Then, of course, there are people who engineer this whole thing, the oligarchs, perhaps the global oligarchs, who engineer the head-butting and all that. Uh, but here, people get tired. And they hear a voice, I think, internally, my sheep hear my voice. And they, I think they, they, are, they hear a voice saying, come home, come home, ye who are weary, come home, softly and tenderly, Jesus. They hear that, I think, and they quietly go towards that other, uh, that, that is just black and white photography compared to this very colorful picture on this side. They go there, but the moment they go there, there is some exchange going on. I think it's a changed heart or something. And then they step in and they automatically know we have arrived. We have come home. Uh, not a hotel appearance, not a carnival appearance. Just rest. I just thought on the seventh day after creation, on the seventh day, the Lord said, let there be Sabbath, let there be rest. You know, just rest it looked like. Uh, that's the sense I got. Uh, so if you are looking at scriptures, uh, scriptures about the, uh, John 14, 6, I am the way, uh, the truth and the life in my Father's house are many mansions, prepared places. We don't have to scramble, strive. We don't have to get ahead. We only have to walk closer. And then it was given to me to understand it's a Christian who needs to cultivate divine stillness that people will know. Uh, Psalm 46, 10, be still and know that I am God. And we are to cultivate divine stillness uh, and activities have lessened now with uh, many churches not functioning, which I'm not saying it's a good thing, but in this time, uh, things are normal, energetic, extroverted, extravaganza, which we call church, has got quietened. Maybe this is a time God is inculcating and instilling divine stillness by which people will know 
that God is God and maybe we will, we will also have a deeper sense of God abiding in us, with us. So this was the call as Christians cultivate more of heavenly presence, more of the Father's nearness in them. Others will say, others will feel, let's go that way. It's quiet. It's family-like. It's homely. Looks safe. It's restful. I am sick of this never-ending rat race. Never-ending giant wheel ascending, descending. Yes, it's a time like that. God bless you to invite your friends and uh, loved ones to, to such a sense of Godness. And remember, uh, Friday evening we have our Night of Hope and on Sundays at uh, we have our morning broad, uh, English language broadcast at 8 a.m. and another English language broadcast live service at 5 p.m. We also have a Sinhala language one at 9 a.m. Very soon we will have a Tamil program also. So God bless you and may you be drawn to the Father's house which says, come unto me that are weary and heavy laden, I will give you rest. That's the appeal. Take my yoke upon you and uh, my burden is light, my yoke is easy. Learn of me, I'm meek and lowly. Is that, is that uh, you know, that cry, call comes from eternity into our hearts and then we are ready for the change over. God bless you and God keep you.